Well, it's 8.30 in the morning, and we're uh, <clears throat> just starting to really get into the, the meat of the line. And um, pull up here, and there's a coyote in a trap right here. Very nice. But one thing I wanted to talk about a little bit this morning is weather conditions and what we kind of obs have observed over the years and what we feel like is are, are good indicators of, you know, when you can predict um, when you're going to have a good catch versus a bad catch. Um, everybody knows that coyotes and pre all predators, even deer, move on weather fronts. And the only difference uh, between deer and coyotes is deer are fairly predictable. Um, you, can, you can always, you know, say that they're going to move at that front. Coyotes will move on a front but you never know exactly when during that front they're going to move. Um, sometimes it's 24 hours in front of the front. Sometimes it's right as the front hits. Sometimes it's 48 hours in front of it. 40, sometimes it's right after the front hits, right before it warms back up. So you're, you really never know. But if you look at an extended forecast, really the key thing to look at is, are your traps going to be hunting while that front's, you know, within a 72 hour period of that front coming through, because during that 72 hour period, there's gonna be movement. You just really never know when it's gonna be. Um, if you look at when we got here, we started setting traps on Monday. It was 78 degrees. Tuesday, 80 degrees. Yesterday, 81 degrees. Today is a high of 70. Tomorrow is a high of 46, low of 39. And then I think Saturday is a low, is a, is a high of 40, 49? Saturday is a low of 37, 4 a.m. 37. So we're going to have, you know, a 30 to 50 degree temperature swing in just a matter of 24 hours. And it's going to stay here for two or three days. So, you know, our first day we had five coyotes, but it was post frontal. We had a front that came through right before we got here and it was on the warm up. And it was just, just prior to that big 80 degree day. Um, now we've had two days, um, you know, yesterday was slow. We only caught two coyotes, no bobcats, even the raccoons were slow. We're anticipating a slow day today, but we're within 24 hours of that front coming through. Actually, the front hit this morning. So we could have a big day today, but my, I really anticipate tomorrow being the best day, of Friday, the, Friday best day of the week. But if you look at the weather forecast, um, you can see... Well, start here at Thursday. Well, I don't know what Brian's doing. We're in a hourly forecast, but well, you can see 63 today, 70. Yeah. Friday, 6 a.m. 40. This day's 40 all day long. So basically, the takeaway is uh, whenever you have a 72 degree night, you're probably not going to catch many. So this coyote in the trap right here is just a bonus for us. We're really still looking to get out all of our sets here within you know the next well by by tonight we're looking to get every trap that we have with us in the ground and then friday saturday sunday it's going to be long days of checking and resetting traps so 72 48 45 60. yep what's the is today thursday today's thursday today is thursday high of 72 tomorrow 48 saturday 45 and then the warm-up 60 on sunday which still isn't bad for this time of year but we should have decent weather um, the rest of the time we're here. So we're going to take care of this coyote, reset it, move to the next.